Cindy Lawrence. Here today, I will be reading you a book called Shoe Dog. Let's dig in. By Megan McDonald. Illustrated by Catherine Tillerson. Ooh, look at the puppy. Who's a good boy? You're so cute. Yes, you are. He perked up an ear at the kitschy cool words. Dog wanted a home, a real home. Place full of hundreds of nose kisses, dozens of tummy rubs. A place as warm as soup and cozy as a pie. place a room to run and things to chew but he did not want a boring old bone a squeaky old toy a smelly old sock no he wanted a shoe shoe dog she herself called him they're so cute but that very day shoe dog chewed through Five high heels, four flip flops, three sneakers, two boots, one wing tip. Bad dog! She herself said. That night, Shoe Dog slept at the bottom of the big bed. She did not give Shoe Dog one ear scratch or head pad, not one tummy rub, not a single nose kiss. The next day, she came home with a new box. Not just a big box, not just a little box, a just right box with noisy paper inside. Shoe dog nosed open the lid. He rustled and tussled with the noisy paper. New shoes! Bad dog! She herself wagged and pointed. Shoe Dog had to spend a long while on the corner rug with not one thing to chew. That night, Shoe Dog did not sleep on the big bed with the cozy covers in the land of upstairs. But, the very next day, she came home with another new box. Not a big box, not a little box, a just right box. This time she took it straight to the land of upstairs. Shoe Dog turned circles. Shoe Dog jumped at the gate. Shoe Dog jumped over the gate. He raced up the stairs. Badum! Badum! Sniff! Sniff! He sniffed here, here, and everywhere. There! On the bed was the new box, and inside the box was. A pair of brand new shoes. Shoe dog sat it down between the arms of comfy chair in the land of upstairs to have himself a good chew. Bad, bad dog! She herself said. That night, shoe dog slept downstairs on the cold, cold floor with only a mop for a friend. Shoe Dog did not want to go back to a land of sad puppies and scratched up cats and one-eared bunnies. No! For the next long while, Shoe Dog was a good dog. He did not chew so much as a flea bite. Then one day, she herself came home with a great big Munchy, crunchy, crinkly, winkly, bright, shiny bag full of one, two, three new boxes. She took the big bag up the stairs. Shoe Dog lifted an eyebrow, twitched a whisker, propped up an ear. Was it, could it be, Shoe Dog was sure he heard the friendly rustle bustle of, no, of noisy paper. Shoe Dog raced up the stairs again. Badoo, badoo. Sniff, sniff, sniff. He sniffed behind the big bed. 
no shoes. He sniffed all around comfy chair. No shoes. He sniffed under the forest of dresses. No shoes. There! Way up high on the tippy top shelf above the forest of dresses was the bright shiny bag with box after box after box inside. Shudok leaped onto comfy chair. He pulled and pulled and tugged and laughed and crash. Down came bright shiny bag. Down came a tumble of boxes. Down came a jumble of noisy paper shoes and all. Shoe dog stood still. Shoe dog stared. Shoe dog sniffed. No, shoe dog did not, would not, could not ever chew this new shoe. She herself heard the crash and came running. She stood still. She stared. Shoe dog rubbed noses with shoe cat. Shoe dog tickled whiskers with shoe cat. Shoe dog gave shoe cat a lick, 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 then a slurp, then a great big doggy slobber kiss. Good dog. He stretched his ears and patted his head. She rubbed his tummy and kissed shoe dog right on the nose. That night, shoe dog jumped on the big bed in the land of upstairs and curled up with his new found friend until the two was as warm as soup, cozy as pie. The end.